In today's Project Spotlight, I'm going to be talking about my under the sea quilt. What I made, how I made it, and what I learned. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So this quilt is a quilt that I made back in 2011, 2012. So this is an old quilt that's been around. It's uh, been washed and dried a lot of times and I think it stood up pretty well. This quilt features these hand embroidered rectangles and these are designs from a designer called Willowberry Designs, which is Cheryl Goss. And I'm not sure if she is still a designer. I couldn't find an up-to-date website with her name, um, but her old blog is still there. And so you can see um, these designs. They are so cute and they are all under the sea seeds. So there's like this little fish with the seaweed and they all had fun names. Like it was Octavius octopus and I know Shelly sea turtles, stuff like that. Um, and they were just really cute and adorable. And so when I saw those embroidery designs, I wanted to do them and I had this idea of putting them into a quilt. And so that's what I did. I embroidered um, larger pieces of fabric and then when they were finished, I trimmed them down to the size that I needed for this quilt. You can see the setting for those blocks is these fun nine patch blocks, but these are nine patch rectangles and not squares. And I use bright, bold colors because I was making this for my younger daughter and it really fit her personality of um, bold and bright and she really likes this. So she was about four years old when I made this for her and she's now 16. So, um, this has really been through a lot. So this quilt, I still love this quilt and I learned some really important things from this quilt. The first thing I learned was about color balance. Now this quilt is so fun when you see it. It's just bright, bold colors, but that overpowers the embroidery. When you see it, you don't even really notice the embroidery that's on it. And that's for a couple of reasons. First, because that color's so bright. And second, because this embroidery was done on a light blue fabric. If it had been done even on a white fabric, then the embroidery would have been much more visible and it would have blended with the white background that I used in the nine patch squares. But when I started doing the embroidery, I hadn't planned out the whole quilt yet. And I thought blue went with under the sea. And so, if I was going to do this again and I wanted the embroidery to be more prominent, I would have done the nine patch squares in more subdued color so that they would have supported the embroidery squares instead of overpowering it. Um, and so that was a good lesson to learn. So I still like it. It's just the hand embroidery that there's a lot of it in here is overpowered by the bright bold colors. So the second thing I learned was using these rectangle uh, nine patch blocks. And this was a great way to make a rectangular quilt without having to make a different number of blocks for across and down. So I used easy math on this. These blocks are six by nine. So the little squares are two by three because I'm all about making the math as easy as possible. And that lines up with these um, embroidery sizes and gives me a nice size quilt. This was really nice for a four and five year old to um, drag around. And then I finished it off with really simple quilting. And there was already so much going on in this quilt with the bold colors and the design and the embroidery. I didn't want some, I didn't want to have quilting that would be in competing with that again. So it's simple quilting. We can see it's just straight lines on the uh, edges of the block. So just in the ditch and then diagonal lines that go right through the uh, middle of the nine patch block. But in the embroidery blocks, 
there's no diagonal lines going through there. There's no quilting lines through here. So that does leave a kind of a big piece with no quilting. So from here to here, there's no quilting, but this has held up fine. Um, it hasn't been a problem with the batting. So I'm really happy with that. On the back, I went with the under the sea theme some more and I used this pink flannel, so it's really soft. And then I used pink binding um, to just give it a nice frame. And of course, because, especially because this was gonna be a kid's quilt, I did do machine binding. So I put it on the back, I folded it over and then machine stitched down the binding. Um, if I was gonna make a quilt for a child to drag around on the floor, I don't think I would ever bother to do hand sewing on the binding. I would always machine sew. So this is a quilt that I learned a lot from and I enjoyed making it and I still enjoy having it. If you wanna see more quilts that I've made, you can check out my Project Spotlight playlist or you can go to my website, ebitastudio.com and check out my quilt gallery.